Recording live from the Northeast Georgia Business Radio X studio, this is Northeast Georgia Business Radio. Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to another exciting edition of Northeast Georgia Business Radio. I'm your host, Tom Sheldon. And yeah, we're coming to you live from the beautiful Empower College and Career Center of Jackson County. And with me today, someone who has been in the promotional and apparel world, shall we say, for, for actually for quite a while. I have with me today Haruko Watkins of Logo Surfing Promotional Items and Apparel. Welcome to the Northeast Studio. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Did I hit all the names right? You did. Logo Surfing. Ooh, it's a tongue twister. Logo Haruko surfing. Watkins with Logo Surfing. Yes. You did that on purpose. <laughs> I don't blame you. Hey, let's watch that host guy stumble and, and That's right. fall on all of this. <laughs> Haruko, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. We're glad you're here. So some logo promotional branding stuff. Yes. You say it better than I do. Well, we do. Uh, it's logo surfing. Right. Promotional items and apparel. Right. We offer over, gosh, over a million products now that can be branded. How many? Over, over a million. Wow. From. Wow. Yes. Uh, you see it all. Pens, bags, you name it. Apparel, t-shirts, you know, that's our top seller. Is it? Yes. So people are buying t-shirts left and right for everything. Branding, branding, putting their logo on. Putting their logos their on Their message. There. Their message. So. Nice. And we print it out for them. So is the koozie a dying breed? Not there's really. A, there's an inside joke at, at Northeast Georgia Business Radio. Forgive me. The, the inside koozie joke. I don't know if you've heard it. Who knows? It's just there's like 10 billion koozies now. There are. You know? I don't, me personally, I push other things. I don't blame I, you. And yeah, I love a good koozie. The koozie's been done. I love a good koozie. Don't get me wrong. Yes, but it's been done. I think there's 10 million at the bottom of Lake Lanier. Yes. You know, you know, we, we used to, that's the running joke. Some we, of them have my name on them probably. Probably so. do. You made a few of those. <laughs> but that, that's the running joke here is we used to feel bad when we lost a koozie. Mm -hmm. But now if you lose one or actually throw one away, there's like 10 more pop up. They're like yep. rabbits. Yep. Boom, there's more. <laughs> that's the running joke here. So what else do we do? Well, apparel, um, apparel, and branding, 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 apparel. Uh, we, you know, we'll work. We'll, we'll sit down with a with a client. We'll you put, consult you put with a them. plan together. We'll put a plan nice. together for them. Nice. We can build online stores for them. We work with a lot of schools, really? a lot of corporations. Really? Yes, it just simplifies our life when we do an online store for them. It takes the the hassle of the ordering. Well, a lot of people don't hands. know. The, the people don't have a clue how to do that. Right. You so actually build the website for them. We'll build, build, a, land, we'll, a landing site, basically. A landing site is exactly what we build for them. That's so, huge. Yes, that is huge. Not a lot of people do that. No. So that's... that's That has to be successful. It is. It keeps us busy. That's a huge selling point. It's a huge selling point. You know, when I present it to our clients, to our prospects, they always say, I didn't know you could do, the, do all that. Yeah. They're probably like, you'll do what? Yes. I'm serious. Yes. No, it's true. And, you know, offering over a million products that you can brand with your logo... People still, even after 17 years, are shocked to hear that we can do this or we can do that. They'll, they'll ask me, can you do this? I mean, I have yet to say, no, we can't do it. So, Hey, if they can't be happy with a million products. and I don't know, then. I smoke, can't help can, you. Can you brand a smoke signal? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> if, hey, if you can do that now. That we, would be we cool. We know you are by yeah. far the master. <laughs> So yeah. other than shirts, what else is hot right now? Um, Does it come and go? Is it cyclical? It is. It is. I mean, koozies had their day. They've had their day, but they they are still around. People will oh, yeah. still buy them. Oh, I still get them all the time. You know, it's it's easy on the pocket. Is it? It's not too bad on the pocket. Price point. Price point. Yeah. And so it goes a long ways. The ones I sell, you can put your imprint on the front, back, and the bottom. Gotcha. So you can have three separate messages. So people still like the koozies. But aside from koozies, I mean, we also offer electronics, like uh, power banks. Now, what's that? Charge. It'll charge your phone. Oh, you plug your phone into it. I got you. Yeah, I, like a, you're still a power bank. I um, would imagine the price point on that is rather high. Not really. Really? You can get some for about $9, a little under $9. Okay, okay. But then they go up. The higher the quality, oh, I got you. the pricing. Okay, up, the so. better they are, the better. Well, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. That's with anything. Mm-hmm. Pens are always a big thing. Oh, yeah. Like koozies. They're everywhere. 
that's a new business card is what I call it. Pretty Instead much. of having a uh, business card, you, you hand out a pen now. Pretty much, yeah. So let's see. Mugs, water bottles are always big, too. People keep the water bottles. Yeah. They hang on to that. What so. about your tumblers? I see a lot of... It's some, that time of year. Some are actually Yeti, the real Yeti. Yes, we sell those. I see more and more of that. The, the, the price of those must be coming down so more people can use them or something. I don't know. I know nothing. I just I know I, I get tumblers all the time yes. with logos on them. Yes. And I'm always shocked when I get a real Yeti, Yeti with the word Yeti on it. Mm-hmm. But there seems to be more and more. The that, pricing didn't come down on the Yetis. Every, everything went up. Yes, everything went up. So, But, but people want... They want to be the it thing. Exactly right. So I don't blame so, them. Yeah. Know, I don't blame them. I know I always love those cups because we take them to Mexico with us. Yeah. And if, if they, you know, get stolen out of our bag or something, we're not out a whole lot or yeah. know, something like that. Yeah. So, You'll have a replacement when you get back, I'm sure. It's so. going to be the new koozie. <laughs> sorry. All right. Logo surfing. Yes. We'll get serious here. I'm sorry. Logo surfing. 17 years. 17 years. Yes. We started the company... Out of the basement of our house. Did you really? We did. Matthew started the company once we got serious and decided it was time for a family. We had spent about 10 years together single. We decided we have done it all. It's time right. for family. It's, it's time. To get serious. The next phase. The next phase in our right. life. We knew that we didn't want to continue to work corporate America and commute to Cobb Gallery every day. Were you in, you in corporate America? I was in corporate America and staffing. Oh, Exactly. You were a babysitter. I was a babysitter. Sorry, I became I, a social worker. I, should, I shouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> I felt like I became a social worker, so it was just time for a change. We started the business in the basement, and that was a lot of time together I in bet. the basement. That was new. So I had to kick him out and tell him, go get an office elsewhere. That's right. So, and that's how, I mean, but honestly, it was, it, we worked very well. He handled the operations, and I handled the sales of the, of the business. So we didn't see each other 24 7. Right. So we had that space in between us. But that we just grew the company that way. Gotcha. And then we slowly added to the staff, to the sales force. We added, just kept growing it. You have a sales force? We did. You we did. did. I have changed the structure okay. of the company I gotcha. since I took, I've taken over. I have a business partner. She handles sales too. Nice. Um, Jordan North. She's with United Way full time. Okay. So she works logo surfing still on the side. Now, Matthew is who? Matthew Watkins was my husband, passed away about two and a half years ago. He's the original founder and CEO of the company. We lost him two and a half years ago. We did, but we have carried on, continue to grow the company. I wasn't sure what direction I was going to take the company, but the growth is, it's growing on its own. So I'm just letting it happen. Organically. Organically. Well, so it's, it's meant to be. It's, that's what I Hon- say. Honestly. I try to, I try to cap it off because running it on my own now was a little different. There's a limit. But I'm going to, I'm going to go with it. I think you should. I think I should, too. After 17 years? Yeah. 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 You don't want to go back to corporate. Oh, America no. Good. No. That's Cobb not in my Gallery, future yeah. at all. That is not in my future I guess future Cobb is a four-letter word. Yeah. It really is now. <laughs> so, like 285. So, but um, plan on letting it grow as much as possible. I imagine you probably think branding is super important. I do. Yeah. I do. It just takes your business to the next level. It really does. There's no question about where who you're representing. If you're walking in with a polo with your logo, you're proud of your brand. Mm-hmm. You want to show it off. It just makes people aware of your company. So you, you're working with, with companies all over northeast Georgia, all over? All over the U.S. I was about to say, how far is the reach? It's all over the U.S. We've okay. even shipped out to, J- to Japan before. Have you really? We have. We've shipped out of the country before. Doing it 17 years, we've shipped to a lot of places. Well, with the internet, the world is so small now. Exactly. And we started off as an online store only. Oh, really? When, once I joined the company is when we became local. Oh, okay. Yes. That's when I hit the ground. Literally. Foot in the pavement. So, yeah. And I went cold calling. I, oh, did you really? I really did. I remember those days a long I still do time it. ago. Do you really? I love it. Wow. It puts me in a different kind of mood. I just love you being out there. You have to be there. a different kind of person in general to do that. I don't know. I, I really, I mean, you can ask Not everybody. in a bad way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you can come back and, and, and I come back and people tell me you're in a good mood. I'm like... I just enjoy getting out there meeting you. That's people. how you get your recharge. Seriously. I've gotten my recharge. I've gotten some of our biggest clients from cold calling. By walking in the door. Walking in the door at the right time. Great. I mean, right. Fortune 500 companies, you know. So, nice. yeah, we've done really good. I have no doubt. 
it sounds like along the way you've made some great community partners. Mm -hmm. We have. Luckily here at Northeast Georgia Business Radio X, we also have some great community partners. One of them is Money Penny. Have you ever been worried that your clients aren't able to correspond with you fast enough? Money Penny is a world-leading outsourced communications provider offering US-based dedicated receptionists and large business phone handling provisions. You've seen the live chat boxes when you visit a website. That's live chat services. And yes, Money Penny handles that as well. Visit moneypenny.com for services and details. Money Penny, your business's second home. Hey, and while you're at it, Visit our new website, negabrx.com, to see all our great community partners. Haruko, you still there? Yes. You didn't run off on me. No, I didn't. Hey, we got to pay bills around here. <laughs> we got to pay bills. I said, where were we? We're going to let the company keep growing organically. I love that. Yes, yes. And, and you know. You're in the cold calling, but I'm sorry, what were you saying? I'm in the cold calling, I, and I love you're it. You're into it. That's awesome. So, but you know, a lot of people ask me, how do we maximize our uh, budget? Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Let's talk about we'll, that. We'll maximize your budget every time. We've been in business for so long that our suppliers pass on just really low cost to us. Volume. The volume Yay. that's there. Nice. So they, they reward us by yeah. giving us better pricing. We pass it on to the clients. That's awesome. That's why you've been in business 17 years. I think so. Honestly. And we stand by our award. We stand by our product and our service. So and that won't change. So other than budget. And I know that, hey, at the end of the day, that probably is, is one of the biggest biggest things that you're working with. These customized plans you're putting together, walk me through some of that. What are some things you're looking at? What well, are some things you may want to stay away from? Mm, good question. That may be more interesting than what everyone could go with a pen. Right. What may not be a good fit? That may be a little different spin on the question. That may be a different spin that I haven't thought about. But oh, I'm making her think. Awesome. You are making me think. Well, no. Uh, when I'm, like, let's say I'm meeting with the school. Yeah. They want to sell field day T-shirts. Uh-huh. We'll sit down with them. We'll we'll decide on the products ahead of time, whatever, whatever's in their budget. We'll pick up the product. We'll create the online store. We'll plug the products in those stores, and it's open to the public. Did I answer a question at all? You're getting there. Okay. Walk the listeners through what putting a plan together is. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a lot more than hey how much money you got. No, it is. It's a lot more than that. I mean, first of all, you got to get your foot in the door with well, the company. First right, of all, right. That's half the battle. But, but people are coming to you though. They are coming. Your they name is is more than out. Yes, it's it is. And They're coming to you. Yes, referrals have been wonderful to, um, to for the business. That, to me, that's the best business. Yes, yes. But now, if someone comes to you, they own a bakery. Someone comes to you, they own, I don't know, what's a different, a plumbing company, yeah. a pest control company. It can't be all one size A construction fits company. Yeah. No, they order different things. We put together different plans that's, for them. That's why I'm getting It at. depends on their, their target audience. Okay. Who that's is, something you take into that's, account. I have to ask them, what kind of event are you going to be hosting? What kind of event are you attending? And who is your target audience? Who is going to be the end receivers of these promos? Um, okay. Because if it's a bunch so of kids. So that's important. It's very important. If they don't know, you don't know. Exactly. I won't know, but I get a lot of people that have that tell me this is my budget. Come up with something. Come up with something. So I'm shooting in the dark a lot of times. Are you really? And then we narrow it down. You're gonna have to. We have to narrow it down. So I don't mm. send them a million options, obviously, because no, it would overwhelm no. them. Yeah, yeah. I You'll could, never get an answer. That. No. So not you know, but um. When you try to start narrowing down, especially the target audience, do you get a is. Do you get a lot of I don't know, or is that a dumbfounding question to some people? It is. Sometimes it is. Sometimes you're, they don't know themselves. Exactly. You're going to a fall festival. Who's your target? Are you targeting the kids? Are you targeting the know. parents, right. the companies? Right. So Or other um, business fellow businesses. Right. It's rare that that they don't know all together, but you know, we'll work with them. You work with it. We you get, work with you them. get it out of them eventually. We do. We do. <laughs> we'll send them over some ideas and then we just start to narrow it down what, what they like, what they don't like. Now, you do embroidery on shirts and we hats? Do. And we do it all. Do you really? Um, screen printing, sublimation, heat transfer. Yes. Those are shirts. All on shirts, T-shirts, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. That was a lot. That's a lot. The screen printing, heat something. I, I the can't heat even, trans- I can't even begin to say what you said. <laughs> in a former life the industry I was in, koozies we had. Yes, at one time there was koozies that I paid for. Uh, there was actually a bug on the bottom of it. You oh, could no. squish. Oh, Yeah. When you set your beverage down. That's uh, pretty cool. You know, someone yeah. came up. It wasn't me. Yeah. I assure you it wasn't me. <laughs> this would be a great idea. Okay, do it. Cool. All right, so now where are we at now? 
you're handling all orders across the United States, even out of the country at times. Out of the country at times, yes. Uh, but you're working closely with what, with Barrow County, Jackson County. Yes, the, all the surrounding counties. We're in all boots the surrounding counties. Boots on the ground, counties. as in your boots. My boots. Jordan's boots on the ground. So when she was more active, is she in the area as well? She's in Athens. She's in Athens. Mm-hmm. She's based out of Athens. Actually, she just relocated to Houston, so but she works out of Athens. Gotcha. But yeah, it's mainly me you're bringing. Make, you're making it happen. I'm making it happen. I have got two kids. I have to make it happen. You know that could be a deciding factor. That's a driving force. I bet. And how old are, how old are the babies? Uh, I've got a nine year old. It's about to be ten. In about a week and a half, and then I've got a 17-year-old. Wow. And they, um, they've they been at Bethlehem Christian Academy since they were two. Nice. So, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. You must live in that direction. I live in Winder. Do you live in Winder? Relocated from Decula to Winder. Yeah, close to home. Close to my husband's family. Okay. You got websites? Logosurfing.com. Logosurfing.com. What did we miss? What do you need to get in before we get out of here? We can make koozie jokes all afternoon. Oh, no. Um, I think we covered everything. We covered a lot. We covered a lot. We get right to it down around here. Yeah. We do. You know, our production time is not outrageous. It's right. about five to seven business days on the hard goods, which are the tumblers, the pens, the apparel. We're running at about 11 business days right now. A couple of weeks, yeah. Because of the volume. Schools are keeping us really busy right now. Now, if someone comes to you and they need those field day shirts, or they need shirts for their company, can they order a handful? They got to order a thousand? Nope. The, the beauty of this one is that we don't have minimums on the panel. Nice. You can order one. Really? Keep in mind, the more you order, the less expensive it is. Price point. Price point. Because there's what, setup fees? There, um, it could be. There could be a setup fee, depending on how many colors of imprint you use. Okay, yeah. That's what drives the pricing. Is that what it is? Yes. I got you. If you keep it to a simple t-shirt, one color, one location, you'll get your message out. Yeah. And stay within budget. And so. Embroidery, I imagine, is a little bit more. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit more. Yeah. Yes, it's based on your stitch count of your logo. Sure. So that's what drives that. You know, Mike and I walk around with our uh, Business Radio X t-shirts and shirts, and it falls coming. We're going to need hoodies. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Just saying. <laughs> I may have a catalog for you or two. <laughs> I like a good hoodie. Hey, it's it's almost hoodie weather. Yeah, it is. I, I would it. live in hoodies if they would let me. I would live in the mountains in hoodies all day. I'm with you on that. Yeah. When you go, let me know. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> You're on Facebook. We're on Facebook. We're on um, Instagram. Then. Now, Facebook is Logo Surfing. Mm-hmm. And now the LinkedIn is your account. It's uh, it should be logo. There's a logo is, surfing is there, account is there too. Logo? Yes. Is there logo surfing? I know with LinkedIn, I run everything through my personal. Yes. I just do. A wise, much wiser man told me to do that a long time ago. Okay. Now, do you come up with logos and brand branding? We can logos more or less. We for companies? create a logo for your company. Do yes. The artwork, the design. We do. We have a graphics team on, on staff, and um, they'll create the virtual proofs for you. They'll create a logo if you know you just come up with if, if you don't. If you come up with a concept, we'll go from there. Right. Have an, just have an idea. Right. Although we do get clients that don't have a concept at all, and we've... Oh, I believe that. We've. I mean, it's just hard. It's yeah. hard. Yeah. And then something they're comfortable with. Mm-hmm. Well, if we got it all in, I guess we'll wrap this thing up. Okay. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. Wow. Quick music by the producer over there. God love him. Hiroko, thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. Folks, check out Logo Surfing promotional items and apparel, logosurfing.com. Hey, I'm Tom Sheldon. We'll talk to you soon.